as promised, Unity integrated Bolt into Unity version 2021. And with this integration, it looks like they changed the name from being Bolt to just Visual Scripting. I have been testing with it and I'm actually making an Infinite Runner tutorial right now using 2021. And so far, the only note that I've noticed that they changed is instead of calling it branch, it's now called an if. But now let's take a look at how the integration actually simplifies the process of starting a new project that uses visual scripting. So right here, I have a brand new project and nothing is different right now at what we're used to see. But if we go to assets, go to create, and in here we have a new group and it's the visual script. So we have state graph and script graph. Now in Bolt, script graph was actually called flow graph. So that's one change that is done here. So if we go ahead and create a script, name it whatever we want, the project still hasn't initialized the Bolt or the visual scripting part. But once we click the added graph, the initialization process is gonna start. Before we do that, let's go select main camera and let's click add component, scroll down. And right here we have the visual scripting. And again, we can see that we have state machine as what we had before and script machine. Previously, it was called flow machine. So that's another change. Once you add that, we still have the same process as we had before. Select embedded. And now if I click added graph, this is where the initialization of Bolt or visual scripting actually starts. So it's gonna run through that process of creating the units that we need to be able to create those graphs. This is one time process for the project. Just when you create your first graph, it's gonna run through this. And after that, you don't have to wait for it to initialize anymore. In the previous versions of Unity, you actually had to go to Package Manager and download Bolt, import it, and then you had to run the installation. After you run the installation, you have to go through the wizard to configure it. So the integration does simplify a lot. So that's pretty cool. In this Visual Script graph, there is some changes here, but they're very minor and you should be able to use the knowledge that you had in Bolt before to continue working in 2021. Now at the top, you can see that we no longer can find that Bolt options that we had. That's what we used to use to add new units or scripts to be converted to units. And everything that was previously referred to Bolt is actually visual scripting. So we have the visual scripting graph here. If you want to see those settings that you used before, you have to go to edit project settings and inside here we have a new tab visual scripting and that's where those units and types were moved so right here we have the types options and you can add your own types here like you did previously and we have a node library so you can add your scripts and types here to be able to use them in your graphs be sure to run generate units because that's what's actually going to create those units for you. We have some other options here and at the bottom we can see that we'll be able to do the plugin update right here. Now with this integration Unity also renamed the namespace from being Bolt to Unity Visual Scripting and that will actually create problems for scripts. So right here I imported a Photon to Bolt script that I made. If you take a look at the script we can see that I get an error from Photon because I don't have Photon in my project. So I can remove those Photon elements, but we still get the error with Bolt. So to fix those errors, you actually need to switch to use Unity.VisualScripting. And that's the new namespace for Visual Scripting. So it's no longer called Bolt, but Unity Visual Scripting. So if you did any custom Bolt units, you might need to do this conversion for the script to work in Unity 2021. Currently at the time of recording, Unity 2021 is in beta version. So we'll probably see more changes being done with it, but this is the direction where Bolt is heading, how the integration currently looks in this version. And this is good to know, so you can look ahead and figure out when you want to actually switch to Unity 2021 and how that transition might require you to do extra work to convert your previous custom scripts to be able to run with this version. Now with graphs, if you try to add one of the graphs that you previously made, currently it's not recognizing off the bat. If it's still causing problems for you and you want to import that graph, one thing that I found that works, you can open one of the graphs in a text editor, the one that you made in 2021. So for instance, right here and copy this M script line and replace it in the other one. When you replace it, you can save it and then you can drop it in and actually recognize it. You can click edit and you can see the previous graph. And right here we can see that the add unit is one of the ones that got deprecated. 
it was replaced with the sum unit instead but now the sum unit is called add that's one of the changes that you might need to change from the previous scripts this is it for this video i'll be making more videos on visual scripting so if that's the topic that you're interested in be sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one